Hey y'all, this is how to build a monthly budget in Airtable. In our last couple of videos, we learned how to have our transactions all automatically come into Airtable through Fintable. We also learned how to add categories and how to have the month name assigned and the flow type assigned. And now we want to make an actual budget because what we have here is great, but really all we have is our categories, which is our yearly expenses and I don't really need to know how much I spend on stuff for a year. What I'm more interested in is a specific category in a specific month. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to build something like this. So for September, I have all of my categories and I can see um, exactly in different months how much I spent for um, each category, which is very helpful. So what we're going to do is create a grid view. The reason why we don't want a new table is because the information is not going to be different, so we can just do different views and switch very quickly and then group them and sort them. We don't need an ex entire new table, so we just go grid. And let's do it for um, September. We're going to create new view. And when you create the new view, you're going to have all of the um, columns that you've already hidden from your grid view. So right now, my grid view looks pretty clean. We have about seven columns, but now on my new one, we have, for example, European dollars, euros. I don't really need to know how many euros I spent here in the US, so we're going to go hide fields. I'm going to hide, basically, we'll keep um, month name, but hide basically all the fields that we're not going to want to see. What I'm really interested in is how much I spent, the category, I like to have vendor, the date of purchase, and then the month name. So this is what we have so far. But as you can see, we have September, August, July, we only want September. So what we're going to do is we're going to go filter, add condition, we're going to change our location, so our where, to month name, contains, you can type in September, And now we only have our September um, transactions. That's awesome. Next, we're going to want to sort it by category. So how you do that, you're actually not going to go sort because sort is just going to order it. We're going to group. And we say group by category. There we go. That's awesome. So this is how much we spent on clothes in September. This is how much we spent on eating out. And if you want to know maybe how much you spend on an average each time you eat out, all you have to do is um, click this, click your sum, and then you can change it to average. Spend an average of nine bucks. That's not too bad if, if I do say so myself. I'm going to go back to sum. And let's just say you've been doing this for years. So you have 2023, 2022, 2021. But right now we only want to see 2023. What you're going to want to do is add another filter and do add condition it won't affect this first one and we're gonna change it to date is before and I'm gonna do this for all of 2023 just in case you wanted to do a view where you can change the month easily and just have it for 2023 so we can pick our date is before Then we're going to add another. Oh, is before. We're actually going to want to do, pardon, is before the first. Don't want to exclude that one day of transactions. That Christmas spending adds up. We're going to do after. After the 31st. There we go. So this should show me only September 2023. Let's just say if we were have done this for a long time. And the reason you would do it like that is let's just say you want this one view where you can just go real quick. What did I spend in April on clothes? There you go. Real quick, you don't have to change all of your filters. Okay, that's awesome. We have this set up. I know you got this down. But let's say by category, we want to know how much we spent on eating out and even eating out per each month. This is um, the average meal costs and the sum, this is how much I spent in 2023 on eating out. 
Um, but let's say we want to see how much do we spend on what's something fun. Um, let's do wants. Oh, this is great. Wants and clothes. You can do it for several things. We're going to create a new view. Wants and clothes. So basically just wants. <laughs> create new view. We have all of our transactions. As you remember, we're going to have to hide our, our fields that we don't we don't really care too much for. I'm leaving month number. I'll show you why in a sec. And we're going to add a filter, add condition where our category has any of. We're going to do close and wants. This is awesome because you can play around with this function and you can do, uh, let's just say you wanted to know how much do you spend on everything besides food. You could do um, does not contain food and groceries or you can have a lot of fun with it. So now we have all of our transactions for food and wants from 2023. And let's just say we want to see um, what our costs are each month. What we're going to do is group. And what I've done here, this formula I've extracted from our date that has automatically come through Fintable. And this month number I've extracted from the formula we just made, which is our month name. This is a switch formula. And so this is going to assign a value to each month. So January 1, of course. And the reason why I've done this is because if you're going to group and sort by um, month name, it's going to do it alphabetically so you won't be able to get it chronologically. So when we group it, we're actually not going to group it by month name. We're going to group it by month number. And now we can go 9 to 1 to get September 1st. We can even come back here and hide our month number if you don't care for that. And now we can see all September, everything we spent on clothes um, every month. There we go. January, here we go. Let's see our average, our average clothing item, our average so shopping spree. There we go. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. Um, but this is how to um, build a budget for our month and category on Airtable. Hope, hope it's helpful.